powerful brown pink. It's Captain Flamingo! Tired of being a kid in a world built for grown-ups, Milo Powell decided to become a superhero! He's a shining peak of justice for kids everywhere! With his powerful novelty items and trusty sidekick Elizabeth, look out for the colorful and clueless Captain Flamingo. In Flamingo Vision, where available. For superheroes and non-superheroes alike, is there anything worse than getting dressed up for no good reason? Yeah. Hi, Milo. You're dressed up. Yeah, and for no good reason. Yeah. Just a fancy lunch at my aunt's house. <laughs> Sorry. Well, at least now you can relax. Exactly. Just as soon as I get these awful pinching dress shoes off. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Maybe we can pull them off. Mm. Uh, uh -oh. Huh? Flamingo! A kid! In trouble! Over here! Tabitha? What's wrong? Today is the day the Queen makes her royal visit, and I've been waiting to meet her my whole entire life. So? So? I have to watch Tucker today, which means I have to bring him. So? So? The Queen has specific rules about formal dress, and I am not going to spend the rest of my life rotting in the royal dungeon because of him. I've got to get this outfit on him. Yeesh. You ever think maybe the outfit is the problem? Yeah. Okay, so we dress Tucker. How hard can it be? I don't even need my superpowers for this job. Hmm. Stop you! Come on, Hoopa. I have a surprise for you. This is no big deal. I'll just, I'll do what I do when I want to get Dishrag into her cat carrier. I'll distract him. With a kitty magnet brand catnip mouse? Cats can't resist it. But what about toddlers? There's only one way to find out. Okay, Lizbeth, get ready to spring the outfit on him. Hey, Tucker, look! Look at the yummy mousy! Nice mousy! <laughs> it's working! Okay, Elizabeth, now! We seem to have taken a step backward. A step backward? Not only is my little brother not dressed, he's completely naked in public! Whatever my career is going to be, it's already over! I'll be right back, Tabitha. He's just a toddler. It's not like he can outrun Captain Flamingo. <laughs> what happened, Captain? These shoes! It's like they're holding me back! I'm never gonna live this down. I'm gonna have to move to Antarctica, aren't I? I'm gonna have to live with the penguins. Don't worry, Tabitha. Captain Flamingo's not scared of a little setback. He'll just go to Plan B. Right. Plan B. Ah, Plan B, which stands for broccoli. And how is this supposed to make me feel better, exactly? Toddlers hate veggies. Observe my self-inflating veggie medley. I get it. When Tucker sees the vegetables, he'll run away. 
and into that kid's clothing store. Full of grannies. Just look at that adorable tushy. <laughs> Come try this on. <laughs> oh no! The only thing scarier to a toddler than giant inflatable veggies is grannies with dress up outfits. <laughs> oh no! He's gone into the photo enlarger! <laughs> uh, <gasps> will the captain triumph over the giant naked toddler? Or will he be utterly and completely humiliated? No ifs, ands, or <clears throat> buts? <laughs> Stay tuned. to do something I've wished for in all my years as sovereign, but could never do. 
What's that, Your Majesty? Shut up. Those blasted bagpipes. <laughs> the Queen thought Captain Flamingo was the most heroic little square-shaped boy ever. And she thought I had the cutest little brother ever. I accidentally overreduced him at the photo place, but I sort of like him better this way. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay, everybody, say Sir Captain Flamingo! Sir! Milo Powell, what in the world have you done with your dress shoes? Well, Mother, I believe they're bronzed and sitting in the Royal Museum in the Captain Flamingo wing. <laughs> So you lost them playing Flamingo Man, did you? Milo, dress shoes are expensive. Maybe I just won't buy you another pair. Let's see how you like that. I heard that. <laughs> Captain Flamingo, looking out for kids in a big way.